Okay, no worries. I'm happy to have you back anyway. So this is called your um, a reverse sewing. So back, so everyone will be required to press one, two, three, and then release, okay? All right, good stuff. So you'll see when, when I do the demonstration. Also, what I want you guys to get familiar is we use a hand wheel, right? So your hand wheel, when we thread in the machine, we wanna see our thread guide here. If we cannot find it, we move the hand wheel towards you, and eventually you will be able to see it nicely, good? Another thing again is the um, the thread, sorry, the needle here. The needle will go down. We're gonna use our hand wheel to make sure the needle go down and it go up. So again, our hand wheel is actually used for both, both here and here, okay? Uh, another thing again is our bobbin. So this, this is our bobbin here. And we need our bobbin. We need the, our top thread, sorry. We need our top thread, sorry, our top thread and our bottom thread in order to sew nicely, in order to make that loop nicely. Okay, so this is our bobbin here. Now, the, the machine is not threaded. I'm gonna thread the machine and then we're gonna come around and help you eventually, okay? So we can do the finish it nice and smooth today. So when I'm threading the machine, this machine has numbers. So we have number one, number two, number three, right? So we're gonna get here, I'm gonna come around. So number one, number two, number three, number four, it tells us the arrow. Then number five, we go up and we go around. We can't find this, we move this. We're gonna go up around the thread. We're gonna go down nicely. And then we're gonna thread the machine to the eyes of the needle. The needle eyes is very small, but we're gonna try our best. If you're not able to, I'll definitely come around and help you. Again, let me demonstrate from this side again. So number one, number two, we're gonna come down nicely to number three. Number four, we go up. Number five, number six, and then we thread it to the eyes of the needle, okay? All right, also the bobbin, I would come around and help you with the bobbin because it's a little bit, um, it could be a little bit, not tricky, but take time to kind of grasp. So I would come around and help you guys. But I'm expecting everyone to at least try to so thread the machine, okay? All right, so let me thread the machine. If you cannot see it, you need to come around more. Just, uh, just so. so. So we're gonna put the thread like this, then we have number one. You see, I hold my hand like this. Then number two, I come around nicely. Then number three, I just go down. Right, I just go down nicely, right? Then number four, I'm gonna go up because the arrow tell me to go up, I'm gonna go up. Then this arrow tell me to go around, of course I'm gonna go around, good? All right, then I'm gonna go down. Hmm? So I'm gonna go down, right? So I want everyone to observe this one here, okay? So let me do that this side and I'm gonna turn on that side. So we're gonna go around this here. Let's put the light on. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna hold my hand and I wanna pass around this and I wanna turn it this way as well. So the thread is like this, I'm gonna pass around, around this here, mm -hmm. yeah, good. So one time. And then over the butt of the needle here, there's another hook there. So I'm gonna pass the thread around that hook as well. So I'm gonna come again, this way, hold nicely. And I'm gonna come around here. And you see that hook there? You guys see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome, yeah. so that's how it is. So let me turn it on this side now, okay? So again, here. Okay, need to come out so I'm gonna explain again. All right, so here on this side, you're gonna hold your hand just like this, you're gonna pass it over this here, right? So this is this loop here. Then we're gonna pass it over the butt of the needle here. So you're gonna have your hand like this again, and you pass it over your right, your right hand gonna come so over here, okay? Make sure it's over here, not over here. Good? All right, so lastly. So lastly, what we're gonna do, we're gonna thread the needle from front to back. So if you have a scissors, you really wanna trim, trim uh, the thread out. You can put the light on, and keep in mind, once you have light, you have power. So if you have your hand just carelessly and you sew, and you sew, eventually, you don't wanna sew, okay? Just to be cautious. So just ensure the light is off, except if you need it on, you put it on, but make sure your feet is far away from our feet head on the floor, okay? All right, so let me try to thread this, and then I'll show you guys what I want you guys to do. And don't feel overwhelmed if you never use a machine. We are here, we're gonna help you. You'll definitely get your project done today. Many times when I come to the, 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 um, the library, most of my students have never touched a machine before. And by the end of the class, they was able to walk home nicely with their project. So you guys, you guys will be fine. All right, so next now, I'm gonna show you guys how to, I'm gonna turn the other way as well. So this bobbin must be towards the back, mm -hmm. all right? So you don't want it, you don't want the thread facing me, you want it facing away from me. Does that make sense? Yeah? 
Okay. So this is how this is facing towards the back. It's not, it's not this way. We don't want the print this way. We want it this way. Okay. Once we have it this way, we're going to drop it down in the case, in the bobbin case. So I'm going to drop it down in the case. I'll bring this up. Now, this part is very easy. Um, oh, baby, you got to move the car. Huh? You got to move the car. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Sorry, the car is gone. I'm seeing the car. We got to move the car eventually. Okay, so you're gonna I bring, forgot. Sorry guys. <laughs> so, so this, you're going to put it down nicely like this. And then you're going to bring this towards the right. Towards the right. 